and then I mute them all. So I'm working, doing my thing while it's playing in the background. He's like, I don't need to listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> I've you, seen the you, you videos numerous you, times. You can't do that. It Hi everybody, it's Eric Harris, your veteran realtor, and we'd like to walk you to the first episode of SoCal Living. SoCal Living is our new YouTube channel where we're showcasing small businesses, schools, the whole community of San Diego so that you can learn more about your community and what's going on in it. Uh, today, for our first episode, we have welcomed my great friend, Andy Cruz. Andy Cruz does YouTube for charity, and he's going to explain today exactly how all that's done, introduce who he is and what it is about this community that gives him such ambition to do such a thing. So, Andy, thank you for coming to the first episode of SoCal Living. Please tell the people who you are and what you do. Well, thank you for having me on. This is exciting. Um, you know, this is a, a new channel and this is uh, the inaugural video for it. So it's exciting to, to be on here to talk about something that is... Uh, we're putting on the platform that we're also doing something in for for benefiting others. So, um, you know, I was I was born and raised here in, in the Chula Vista area, and uh, you know I live here now. You know, married, got three kids, and so and and we both work here. So right. this is a place where we we live, we work, we play, we have fun, we spend money, we give, and so um, doing this is uh, is is really important to me. Um, you know, I've always had a heart set towards like giving to people and figuring out ways where we can maximize giving. Uh, you know, I even had a company years ago that that was like our purpose um, was to uh, generate revenue in order to give back to charities and causes that we cared about. And so th this this concept of YouTube for charity is really is really born out of that. Is um, you guys remember the ice bucket challenge, yes. the ALS ice bucket challenge, right? And so so one of the interesting things that came out of that was that. Um, a study was done, and they, they, they obviously have the numbers of how much money was raised, mm -hmm. but they actually had this study that, that, that um, found that people felt like they were helping by clicking the like button and just like watching these videos, but it literally had no monetary benefit to ALS at all. And there were millions and millions of people that, uh, uh, millions of people that just watched without actually doing anything con contribution-wise. Right. So I thought, well, how could we fix that? And so the idea of um, monetizing a, new, a, a YouTube channel and then taking that money that the ads generate, mm -hmm. that would actually take attention span and clicking the like button and actually turn it into dollars donated. And so that was that was the whole idea. So <laughs> based off like people having fun videos where they dump on water on each other or the cinnamon challenge where they yeah, eat cinnamon. Right. <laughs> they can't eat it, yeah. yeah people are watching that all day. That you can actually build money for that and yeah. give it back to charity. Yeah, because the thing is, like nonprofits and and other the other things, the other videos that have gone viral, they did it for a purpose to to raise awareness, to to raise money, support a cause, and those are all good. But if you don't take the action to do the contribution part, then it's just a piece of entertainment, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it doesn't uh, achieve and maximize the objective, and so. I thought, well, what if we made intriguing and interesting uh, content that was also encouraging and inspirational, mm -hmm. but that by doing so, the monetization would allow us to give back to charities and help people with basic human needs. So simply put, it's make a YouTube channel, put content on it, monetize it so that we get some, some of that ad share revenue from YouTube, and then dedicate 100% of that back into charities. That is amazing. <laughs> Now, for people who don't understand what monetizing is, so YouTube has it where you're set up, if you get a number of viewers, a number of subscribers, and the number of time that your video is watched, then they give you money when you put ads onto your videos. So the ads help people make marketing, so they pay YouTube, and YouTube pays you for putting up content. So how can people help you by watching your content? So there, there's a couple of things, actually. Um, the first thing you can do is subscribing to uh, my channel on YouTube and also to Eric's channel here for SoCal Living um, because we're going to end up doing more things together. Um, but also just watch. Watch something and find something that's on the channel that is intriguing or encouraging or inspirational to you or even just entertaining. And then also share it. So by watching something, you help increase the hours watched. By subscribing, you increase the subscriber count. And by sharing something, you invite someone else into the process. Now, one of the things I think is really important, especially when you're doing something for a public cause and social cause, is accountability. So uh, coming this month in, in January of 2020, mm -hmm. uh, we actually bought the site YouTubeForCharity.com. Nice. And on YouTubeForCharity.com, we're going to every month do a screenshot of the money earned from the ad revenue sharing 
And then we're gonna show a screenshot of the online donation or the receipt for the cause that we gave to. So you see all the money that came in and all the money go out, so that way it's 100% equitable every single time. Oh, so then people won't have to worry about getting scammed like on some of the right. GoFundMe accounts that sure. people have done it. Well, and ultimately, if they're getting scammed, it's of their time and attention span. Because yeah. I'm not asking them to give money, I'm just saying watch a video on here, spend time on the channel, and then by doing so, the ad revenue increases over time and scales. So basically, people are giving back to charity for free. Correct. They're um, spending their time. They're spending their time instead of spending <laughs> the money out of their pocket. Right. And then with you, the way YouTube's set up, they technically, while at work, can put a tab up, an extra tab, because I've done this. I put up like four different tabs because <laughs> I have four different emails. And then I put Andy's on each of these tabs on his YouTube channel, and then I mute them all. So I'm working, doing my thing while it's playing in the background. He's like, I don't need to listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> I've you, seen you, the you videos can, numbers you, of times. You can do that. Yeah, it, yes. it, is, it is a strategy to help us get to where it is we need to be. So we need to cross the, the line of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watched. Now, the 4,000 hours watched is over the last 12 months. So it's kind yeah. of a rolling count. So... Uh, we need to get to 4,000 hours watched, and, and that's a method to help. Now, also, Eric and I, as business owners and business people, we're not condoning that you sit at your desk, watch YouTube, and ignore your work. That's going to get you fired. Don't do that. Uh, but you can turn it on, and you can leave it in the background. The other thing is when you s turn on the, the notifications, keep in mind, like, you're going to get an email that the new videos come up. Uh, you also get one on your phone if you have that turned on. And then the, the really, here's the important part, is if it's a value to you or you think it's a value to someone else, share it. Just share it with somebody because the channel will already describe what YouTube for Charity is, but the, the whole point of the content type we're putting up is that it's going to encourage and inspire people and, and help them in some way. Right. Personally, professionally, relationally, emotionally, any of those things. And so I, I know that everyone's going to be able to find something on there that's going to be useful for them to share. Gotcha. So there you have it. Make sure that you subscribe to his channel and my channel so you can be notified and hit the notification button so you can not be notified when new videos and content are posted. Also, make sure if you like the content that you share it with your friends because the more you share, the more everybody helps out. So thank you for coming to the very first episode of SoCal Living. Stay tuned for more. Make sure that you check for his link in the bottom of the comments so you can find his page. You're already on my page, so hit the like button. <laughs> and we'll see you next episode. Thank you, Andy. Thank Everybody you, guys. Else, have a nice day.